Well, you know, it's, it's, uh, of course, the FDA doesn't believe that any woman should ever have testosterone in her body. So every bit of that's 100% off label. <laughs> hey, guys, they do have testosterone in their body. Guess what? Yeah. You don't get to be happy. <laughs> I want you to be grouchy. <laughs> You know, Amazing. and we see a lot of, we see a lot of menopausal women. We see a lot of 45 to 50 year old, 55 year old women. I mean, that's, that's a big part of our clinic. That's and awesome. It's got, the word's gotten out there. They want to come in and they want to see about getting on some testosterone. And that's when, that's when pellets really come into play. And I know y'all, y'all not big on pellets on your book, but for women, you can dose women really well with pellets. I'm open to that. And I'm, you know, obviously we're anti pellets for men because as you know, it's just really, really hard to like get the, it's harder. Yeah. yeah. It's harder to do for sure. But so women, the pellets are really small. It's, I, I mean, I, I literally, I just saw a lady, uh, I put some in yesterday and I went and saw her just so she's down the, she's actually just down the street from me. And so I went by and said hi to her. She said, I literally don't even, I didn't feel a single thing. Uh, I mean, when you, so I numbed her up, you know, and then put this in, it was tiny. Mm -hmm. And she said, literally, I don't feel a single thing. What and, is a pellet for a pellet for a woman? What is like the milligram amount? Does it's like, so on, on, a, on a man, you know, that three by nine yeah. miller, you know, millimeters. So on a woman, you're talking more like two by four or two by six at the most. And then the estrogen pellet, it's almost like a little tiny, like a, like a quarter of a BB, you know, like a BB, if you size of a BB, but you slice it into a little pancake, right. it's tiny and you just boop, put that in. And so I, I'll put, I usually, I'll usually give them estrogen and then uh, testosterone and then I'll put them on oral progesterone, you know, a compounded oral, you know, pro progesterone at night. And we want to, we want to, and women are trickier. I mean, yeah, so oh yeah. Oh yeah. If, if you don't want to try to balance their hormones, you can just give them testosterone. And for a while I worried about the aromatization. I worried yeah. about estrogen, how much estrogen you're going to get from testosterone in women. It actually doesn't, I mean, I've given women pretty high doses and they, they don't normally turn that into estrogen, which I thought they would at first. And sometimes they do. But we'll check their estrogen level. And so anyway, so that's two different two different people I'm talking about. Some women want to come in, especially perimenopausal, and they just want the benefits of some testosterone, you know, and just want to save their marriage, a lot of it too. Of course, yeah. So they they we put that, we put a little bit of testosterone in women that are perimenopausal because we don't know if we should give we shouldn't give estrogen at that point, you know, on and on. But we'll we'll just give them some straight testosterone and they they just love 